with my previous posts about um, how to do a bridge. So I did make that real fast, and so I want to use this to kind of slow, slow it down. So <clears throat> you're laying on your back. Feet can be up on a wall or a crib, and they can even be on the floor, but if you are someone who has prolapse, it's just nice to like lift with the weight. Um, it takes takes the pressure off of the pelvic floor even more. Big, big, brighter, come here, come here, come here. Yeah, come here, baby. All right, so you're gonna inhale, expand. Fill the belly, fill the ribs, engage the diaphragm, exhale. Wrap the belly together, pull the ribs down. So you're gonna tilt the pelvis, pull the pubic bone towards the belly button, and then lift the hips up up on the exhale and the reason why is because when you exhale you're naturally contracting and lifting the pelvic floor and you're also naturally wrapping and engaging the transverse abdominals so when the hips are lifting and you're exhaling you're in sync with your diaphragm and your pelvic floor so you can get a really nice good pelvic floor contraction and you're linking that breath work with the movement and then this articulation of the spine you think about like dropping one little vertebrae down at a time like a string of pearls you want to create some expansion and flexibility and movement what you want to avoid is just kind of coming up with a straight back and it might look like that for you I am naturally flexible and I and I work at it but you want to try to create some space and some movement so it's a big inhale Expand at the belly and the ribs. Exhale, tilt. Curl up, 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 up. And as you're lifting, you're exhaling. 